Hi, I'm Jo Cotterell, and I'm here to talk to you about periods. 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 They're kind of weird um, and normal. I thought I'd tell you about periods today because I'm on mine. Right at this minute, I am bleeding. Like, and I'm not dying. So uh, half the population of the world, approximately, are female and you will all, at some point, experience periods in your life. But people don't talk about them because they're kind of weird and uh, and icky and blood. Blood. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way, shall we? So this is a diagram of the female reproductive system. It actually looks like something out of an alien story. Hang on. There we go. It's not that. Female reproductive system. Uh, number one is the fallopian tube. Fallopian. Uh, you know, like nothing else. There are two, one on each side. Two, that's the ovary. That's where the eggs are made. And um, do you know when you're born, girls, the eggs are already in there. You don't make any more. They are literally already in there, like bazillions of them. In here is the uterus uterus latin word also known as the womb which is where the baby grows when you're pregnant so you might even call it the little baby's womb or you might not number three cervix with a c cervix knobbly bumpy bit number five here vagina okay that is not like a rude word or anything it just is its name vagina when you hit puberty, I mean, who made that up? You are flooded with hormones! I don't know how many, lots. And stuff starts happening to your body, like um, underarm hair and hair in other places. And um, boys, your voice gets deeper. And girls, periods, yay! Or boo. And you feel things. Like sometimes you feel angry or sad for no reason at all. Or sometimes you just want everyone to go away. Anyway, now, unlike boys whose hormones go Wah! and then mostly settle down, girls' hormones go round and round in a circle every month-ish. And periods are part of that. So, every month, the uterus or the womb, the little baby's womb, starts decorating. Okay, I don't mean like putting up posters, uh, fairy lights. It starts thickening the walls up to make a nice cushion. Ready for a baby every single month. Then an egg is released. Egg is released from ovary. Whee! Into fallopian tube. Whee! Lands in the womb. A womb with a view. No, there are no windows. If there is no sperm coming up to go, hi egg, let's have a party, no, let's make a baby, then uh, the egg just waits around a while and then it sort of travels out. But at this point the womb goes, oh no, we're not going to be a nursery after all, and all the insides start coming away so that it can rebuild the whole thing again next month. It's bonkers, bonkers. And all the stuff, all the all the stuff that was in here, in the uterus, comes out through the vagina. Now here's the icky bit, it's, it's blood basically and some stringy bits. And that all comes out here. So that is what a period is. It might last a couple of days, it might last a week, it might be not very much blood at all, it might be loads of blood, you just don't know. So the blood might be brown, might be red, not likely to be any other colours. Purple, that would be cool. Sanitary towels. This is a sanitary towel. It's like a little Christmas present all wrapped up. No, it isn't. So when you're bleeding, you need something, obviously, to catch that. So this is a sanitary towel. This is a tampon. I'm going to take them both out of the packets. This one's got, it's like a rocket. You push it up and it goes wee out the top and that stays in you. And this bit gets thrown away, which is not great. There's also moon cups. There's lots of different types of um, sanitary products that do not all destroy the environment. Seriously girls, you are not actually dying. Okay, do not panic. The other thing you need to know is that sometimes it hurts like cramps or you might feel sick or dizzy. It's because of the hormones slushy inside you. This is not, not fun, not fun, really. 
I mean, you know, it makes you a woman. Woman. But it is not fun. Periods are a fact of life. And if you're a boy, do not assume you don't need to know about this stuff, okay? Because there will be girls around you, I assume, unless you're living somewhere really strange. You'll have sisters, friends, mums, aunts. You live in a world where there are women and they all have periods. And all of them are having to deal with something that makes life really very awkward at times. Very awkward. Now you know, you can be our best friends. Here are three things to say to a girl on her period. One, can I get you some paracetamol? Two, would you like a hot water bottle? Three, here, have some chocolate. There we go. Periods, perfectly normal. Not weird at all. Normal. Periods. Okay, you can practice saying that now, and then it won't be weird. Bye.